Okay, folks, we're getting her welded up, and we're getting ready to do the gussets uh, that I'd planned to do, and I'll show you what they're going to look like, what I'm doing, how I'm getting them. Okay, the sections that I cut out of here is what I'm using. We're going to cut them, and then that'll be a 45. And we'll put them right in there and weld them. Same thing here. And weld it up. And that should be plenty. Plenty strong enough. I don't think I'm going to cap the sides. Don't think I need to, but you never know. I might end up pouring it with. Doing it like this, I've got a small section up here to cap off, and a small section down here to cap off. And that's pretty much it. It's capped. And uh, I think that this will be a strong setup. Uh, you know, I'm not saying it's any stronger than any other way of doing it, but I just think it'll it'll hold up good that way. So, all right, let me get it gusset in this thing, and uh, we'll get this one finished up and get on the other one. Still working away. Here's where we're at. Uh, I did get some sandblasting done on the frame. I didn't get it all sandblasted. Uh, I was running low on coal dust, and Christmas time is going to be a while away, so my stocking won't get filled. So I have to clean some of it up with the flapper disc, but I got it good enough to where I'm happy with it anyway. So here's what we've done on the kick down. As you can see, we've got our gussets welded in. And the frame's good and square and straight and all that good stuff. Well, with itself anyway. So now we're gonna we're gonna do our length measurement back from a couple different places on this thing. One thing, one place is uh, maybe a couple of the holes, and then we're gonna go from the uh, cross member to make sure that this is perfect lengthwise. And then once it's lengthwise, we'll do it you know crossways and uh, get it where we want it. And then uh, we're gonna have to get a get a cross member in it. But uh, I've still got to level this thing out, so we're going to do that next. We're going to level it this way and this way, uh, forward and back, and left and right. I'm going to move these, probably move these jack stands forward, but we're going to get it all level. All right, hi right, folks. Here's where we're at. Cross members in. Uh, going to do a little bit more to it, but not much. Uh, got a lot of the welding done here. Plug welds on top, down the side or the top side anyway. So we'll get the bottom side or the bottom edge once we flip it over. Uh, I think for now what we're gonna do is set the body over on it and the bed on it and just see what it looks like. Make sure that we've got our measurements right. We've got ample room for the engine, which I think we're gonna have because it's a pretty long wheelbase now. But uh, I think once we get that body on, set that uh, Buick engine in there, all that room's gonna be gone really quick. So I've got it, got it perfectly level on where I want it. So I'm good with what I've got. So I'm gonna move these back and move these forward. And then, uh, so to support the weight a little better and then we'll get the body on. Okay, folks, uh, we'll say it again. I don't know if I've said it in this video or not. Yes, the camera has weld burns on it. No, it's not dirty. I can wipe it all I want. And them little spots are still going to be there, especially when the sun hits. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, but buy a new camera. And I just don't have the extra funds to be just buying cameras, you know. This is uh, the third camera I've got. And, uh, you know, it's going to have to last a little bit longer. So, uh, anyway, here's where we're at. Set the body on. Set the bed down on. Uh... Uh, I had the perfect length there for the engine, of course, and uh, it looks long, but just trust me when the engine's in there, it's right, it's the right length, and uh, it don't sit real low, which is fine. I wasn't wanting it, you know, to be real low, but I mean, it's going to be fine when we get uh, we get the front suspension under, and then we'll get the engine set in, and then once that's done, we'll we'll get the rear where we want it, but uh. Body's just sitting on there temporary. I just want to see what it looked like, make sure you know, we had our lengths right. So, uh, 37. Let me, uh, let me get a measurement on the engine. I think it's 37, but let me measure lengthwise forward with the tape measure and I'll show you where we're going to end up with the fan. Okay, so we are 37 inches from 
the back of the block to the front of the fan. And now that's not adding anything in for a radiator or even adding anything in for clearance. We're 37 inches exactly. So let's just say that we went, if we had went all the way uh, to right here, 37 puts us right here. So, and that's about where we're at on the, uh, on the other model way, the Roadster, even with that little, uh, you know, the little V8 engine, the 239 forward Y block. So, anyway, so we've still got a lot of work, frame work to do, and I think that's what we'll start on next while we're waiting on our spring and our other parts so we can go ahead and get everything made on the front. Uh, I am going to make the radius rods out of one inch solid. I know a lot of people probably, you know, well, I know a lot of people use tubing. They use welding bungs. I want to use one inch solid and I want to, uh, I'm going to drill them and uh, tap them on the lathe. Uh, that way, you know, I don't mind extra weight on this car. I really don't. Uh, the heavier, the better for me. They ride better. I'm not trying to make a, you know, powerhouse or a race car. So don't, the weight's not, not an issue. So I guess tomorrow we will be plating, welding the cross member in, get everything on the front of the frame finished up. We'll get the body back off. I'll finish plug welding all these welds. Uh, you know, cleaning up the frame and all, and uh, like I said, the body comes back off uh, along with the bed, and everything worked out really well. You know, I have 100% confidence in the frame being straight and exactly what we want. Uh, we may, when we're finished, make a panel that goes in below that and goes all the way back, and we may extend the frame on back. You know, we can extend it back and, and use two by two to come back and put it some kind of a bumper back air of some sort or something. You know, we can do about anything we want with that. Then we can put a plate through here to hide, you know, the frame or hide that kick up or however we want to do it. So, but it's looking good. I like the way it is. Uh, I know it's going to be nice and roomy inside. We're not going to have any fitment issues and we're definitely not going to have a height issue inside like we did with the the Roadster and uh, you know getting lower in that Roadster is not a problem getting comfortable and lower is the problem uh, I don't want to I don't want to ride uncomfortable I mean that's the whole point of building something and building it the way you want is you know it can ride it the way you want it to ride and be comfortable in it so anyway that's where we're at on it I don't know anything on the six car deal yet so we'll see what happens with that and uh, keep you updated on it and you know, like I said we've got a lot of body work to do a lot of welding and fabricating on the body yet so be ready for that but that's not next next is going to be the front of the frame we'll try to get all the drivetrain done finished up and then we'll uh, once all that's how we want it we'll get back on the uh, on the body we've got to come up with brake pedals uh, even if I've got to make something and master cylinder and everything to mount on the frame and let me see I got still gonna come up with a leaf spring to go on the back a transverse leaf everything else I pretty much got uh, except the U-bolts to hold it at the top center and stuff like that I really don't want to run that stock cross member because it'll be up too high into my frame so I'm not that's, that's not even really an option for us so we're gonna make everything back there I think that's it, I, you know, I don't reckon I'm missing anything. We've got to extend our doors down just, to, or not our doors, we've got to extend that piece down just a little bit. Uh, the doors, originally I don't, there was no rocker of any kind, there's just a bead roll down there. And we'll probably sort of do the same thing down here and back here. And we'll probably, we're going to replace some panels in the bottom of the door there a little bit. And replace the panels at the bottom of the, the cow try to make that look decent and uh, anyway it's coming along I'm liking it uh, I like it a lot better when we get the frame finished and start getting this engine in that's uh, that's my fun part for me is playing with the the straight eight so okay folks I want to show you another thing too here is the uh, 
rear main for our Buick engine that we've got to put in, a straight eight. And what they send you, here's your two rope seals. Um, this is actually, here's a knife for cutting it off. Okay, you notice one seal is longer than the other, even though they use the same size seal. The short seal is for the, the cap, and the long seal is the upper seal. And the reason they send it to you long is you need to use one of these. This is a Sneaky Peak tool. This ain't a Sneaky Peak brand. It's a Sneaky Peak tool. And you can see it grabs the seal. And this loops around it. And you hook your handle onto the end of this. And then you pull it around. And you're going to oil it up, of course. But And then this other one right here is to take it out. But I made a tool a long time ago to take them out. And it's just a screwdriver that was really long and thin and I bent it. So I can actually go up and push it all the way around. And then there's some extra clips with it. So, but anyway, uh, Sneaky Feet is, I think is the company that started making these and they call it a Sneaky Feet tool. But uh, that's what I've always called it anyway. Well, we'll be putting the rear seal in and getting the oil pan cleaned up and getting it back on really soon. And uh, I was going to build an intake and exhaust manifold, but I got a surprise coming for that. Hopefully. Like I said, back on the frame. We'll get that taken care of. We'll start getting the engine set down in, mounted in, suspension done, do the drivetrain, uh, get the frame finished up, and then we'll get back on the body and see what we can do about getting things together. So I'm ready to drive it. All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye. There's the short one. I think I'm going to like the long one better. Plus, we're going to have a pretty big radiator, so. Yeah, it's too low. Too low compared to the cow. So, anyway, we'll save it and use it on another one. Along with the front end, a lot of the other parts we've got. Okay, folks, my wife's been cleaning the boat out. It looks good. She's getting it, or about got it. So now I think it's time to start getting the interior out and picking the front of this thing up really high and start pressure washing, washing everything down and out of it. So maybe a shop back. I use shop back first. Get some of the bigger stuff. Anyway, so we're going to be working on this quite a bit here soon. I need to go ahead and get some wood before I tear this apart because there's not going to be much left for patterns, but we'll figure it out. All right.